Oh my days. That's so good. You like it? Yeah, that's so much better than mine. Hey guys, Greg and Eva here from Destination Collective. In today's video, we are gonna be editing the same photo. We have the pro here in Eva, the photographer herself, and the amateur me, the videographer, who's done a little bit of photo editing. But let's go into it and we'll break down our edits. I've been editing photos on and off a little bit over the last year. Not been using it that much. I've just picked up a few things along the way. This is our photo. We've got Eva here on the beach in Costa Rica amongst some lovely palm trees. And yes, let's get underway and let's begin this edit. Looking at this image, it looks very dark. So what I wanna do is up the shadows and immediately just get rid of that darkness behind Eva, as you can see. So already that looks a bit better. Okay, next, what can we look to do? It's clarity, I always like to just increase the clarity a little bit. It just makes the image pop a bit more in my opinion. And next up, I go down to my curves and I just try to make this S curve shape to just up the whites a bit and yeah, increase the contrast. Okay. Something that I learned recently, if you push this button on your keypad, it shows you the before and after. So that's the before, that's the after looking better okay uh, so I want to mess around with the colors so um, let's see if I adjust the saturations in the blue okay and something I like to do in my images is to lower the saturation in my greens I just think it yeah just looks I like that desaturated look in the greens, it just looks cool. Um, but the blue looks a bit intense actually, so I'm gonna adjust my luminance. Um, too dark. Yeah, to around there. I think that looks maybe low the saturation a bit. Yeah, that looks better, happy with that. As you might be able to see, Eva has got some different colors on her wetsuit top. Uh, looks a bit pink, so I just wanna up the saturation on that as well. Let's see, yep, if you look at her right shoulder, uh, that's just made that pop a bit more. So I like to add a vignette to my images just draws the attention of the viewers into the center of the image. Well, I hope it does anyway. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Before, after, still looking a bit dark. Um, so if I go to my curves again, and if I increase the mids, That's better. Yeah. Okay. And with this beach itself, you can't really tell from the image, but the sand was really white and just stunning. So I want to bring out how, to my eyes, that sand looked. So I've used this tool a few times, a graduated filter. Um, so I just want to change the uh, color of the sand here. Don't really want it to affect either that much. Um, let's change that back to zero. So for this, I'm just gonna increase the exposure. Oh, what's happened there? I don't want it too intense, but yeah, something like that. I wanted to rotate this a bit. Uh, there we go, so I've got all the beach in there. Yeah, that's, 
That's nice. See how that sand is just popping a bit more now. Let's just see what happens when I play around with saturation of the orange. Now that's just clearly affecting Eva's skin. Let's try the yellows. Let's play around with the luminance in the yellows. Ah, that's nicer. Don't know if you could just see that, but the color really comes out in those palm trees. They look brighter, more inviting. Let's just see if there's anything I missed up here. Maybe let's just adjust the temperature slightly. I like to make images how I remember uh, the scene itself with my eyes and it was a very warm day. Um, so I want to bring out that warmth. Um, okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that guys. So here's my before and here is my after. Certainly better. So I will hand you over to Eva now. Let's see how she gets on with her photo. All right, guys, so it's my turn now. Let's see what we can do. If you find this video valuable, if you feel like you're learning something, please drop us a like, click the subscribe button, drop us a comment. It's gonna be massively appreciated. So as we can see, the photo is a little bit contrasty. You can see this white sand at the very front over here with quite deep shadows at the back here. So I'm gonna to try to even out this difference. I'm gonna move the highlights a little bit lower and bring shadows up. Then white up as well. And blacks. Yeah, just about right for now. I'm not changing the exposure. I'm not changing contrast or white balance. I quite like it as it is for now. Uh, I always tend to up my clarity a tiny bit on pretty much every photo I do because it gives me a little bit of a like sharp or sharper feeling and a vibrance a tiny bit up as well. That would do for now. And as you can see, this little change has already made quite a big difference. Look at before and after, we can see colors popping straight away. So here, uh, on this photo, we can see that we've got palm trees, we've got uh, blue sky. Therefore, I want, and because I want to get a little bit of an exotic feeling, I'm moving the hue quite high. That changes my greens. I'm not moving the saturation. I'm quite happy with how saturated greens are, at least as for now. And with blues, I'm gonna up the saturation a tiny bit and move the hue a little bit down to minus six. Automatically you can see that my skin color went a bit off. I look pink or red and we're gonna fix it of course. Uh, however here I'm just only gonna move hue a little bit to the side to give it a little bit of a more orange-ish feeling, a little bit warmer, a little bit colder over, over the reds and up the saturation just a tiny bit. Perfect, we're done here. Next step is split toning. We've got, as you can see, we've got two options here, highlights and shadows. And just like I said at the beginning, the photo is quite contrasty. So, and these options can help us get to our final result a little bit more. So let's start with a uh, highlight. As you can see, I just, I am a bit orange. So here is the first step, how we can fix it a tiny bit. It's still not going to be a final result, but I'm going to move the hue saturation a little bit higher up. There we go. Hue 217 would do. I've just put it in this blue area and the next one shadows just a little bit higher saturation, eight. Just moving the hue a tiny bit away from this reds. So yeah, it's still not quite perfect, but it helped us give a little bit more of a bluish greenish feeling. 
So now we can move to the final step, which is colors, that it's tend to be the biggest fun when it comes to Lightroom. We can do absolutely crazy things. So let's get our photo to the final result. As we can see, the first two options are reds and oranges. That's going to be majorly responsible for my skin tone. I tend to correct my skin tone at the very end because uh, even though I might get my skin tone right now, after I change greens, blues, yellows, it might get a little bit out of control. So I'm just going to change one tiny thing. As you can see, my face looks a little bit more red in comparison to the rest of my body. And that's probably because the sun is hitting directly on my legs and um, I might be a little bit sunburned or tired. So let's move hue a little bit to the right to even it out with the rest of my body. We can down the saturation a tiny bit, up the luminance. It looks slightly better. All right, yellows and green. So this is the key point here because just like I said, I want to give Palm tree is this exotic sort of a color, so I'm moving my greens to the side, lowering the saturation quite a lot. And let's play with luminance, maybe like, like that. So we can see that when it comes to palm trees, we've got greens, but we also got yellows that could give us a really interesting effect. So let's move on to yellows let's up the hue move it towards greens let's lower the saturation and we can see how massively it changed now and when we up the luminance there we go it gave us this really nice contrast between the greens over here we've got darker parts we've got brighter parts i might only play a little bit with saturation a little bit lower. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with this result. Next, we've got aquas and blues. When it comes to aquas, we can see that there is this element on my rash guard over here. We've got some leaves, so there isn't that much to change over here. I might lower the saturation. It's gonna probably have some effect on the sky, but it's fine. We're gonna take care of it in the next step. A little bit of luminance. Perfect and time for blues. So let's give it this moody sort of a color of a sky. Let's move blues towards the green side of the hue. Let's lower the saturation, lower the luminance. There we go. We can see how it works pretty good with palm trees. It got, they both got this yellowish sort of feeling this retro sort of feeling. And when it comes to purples and magentas, we can see that there are not really any elements that we can edit or manipulate. So I'm just gonna skip it this time. And just like I said at the very end, I'm gonna move back to my skin color because we can see that it's still not quite right. I'm gonna desaturate oranges a tiny bit, up luminance to make, to make it a bit brighter. Maybe it's a little bit too desaturate it, let's bring it back up. Right, I think that works for me pretty much. Yeah, just like I said, I might want to adjust some basic options. So tiny bit of contrast down, literally a tiny bit. Let's try exposure. It's gonna, I think I'm quite happy with not touching the exposure tiny bit blacks and I think that works pretty all right for me and here we go here is my final final result let's look up before and after here we go before and after so I hope you like it let me know your thoughts in comments let us know which edit you prefer more mine or Greg's uh, give me your feedback what you like about it what you don't like about it Really cannot wait to read your opinion in the comments. And if you want to have a go yourself and edit these photos, let us know in the comments and we'll look to provide you with a link. Have a go, edit it yourself and show your result with us. Do you want to see my photo? Yeah,
Oh my days. That's so good. You like it? Yeah, that's so much better than mine. <laughs> How? How did you do that? You have to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. She is the pro, that's for sure. So I hope you liked this video. I hope that was lots of value to you. You've seen the different steps that Eva and I have taken to edit the same photo. Let us know if you wanna see more of this kind of thing. We found it great fun for sure. Uh, have a good day guys. and We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Love you. Love you. Really good photo.